there are two factors that play an important role in these uh, in these flooding, and one is the fact that we are in an El Nino year. So El Nino is a natural occurring weather phenomenon, and we are at the moment in a in, a, in an El Nino year, which means that it's warm and the sea surface temperatures of the Pacific are very high, and that influences weather across the world and that also has an influence on the heavy rainfall in uh, in the UAE and in Oman. So that's one of the findings from the study. And then we found also that if this El Nino event had happened in a cooler climate, so in a climate that was not warmed by humans burning fossil fuels, then the rainfall would have been less than what we have observed in this event. Because of the warmer world we live in, these floods have been more intense by between 10 and 40 percent um, than they would have been if they had occurred um, in a 1.2 degree cooler world. And we are currently living in a world that is 1.2 degrees warmer than it would have been if we had not burned fossil fuels. Fossil fuels. Um, produce greenhouse gases that go into the atmosphere, stay into the in, the in the atmosphere and make the atmosphere warmer. We do have the physics, we do know um, from, from really basic physics understanding that a warmer atmosphere can hold more water vapor. And we see around the world um, that that does come out as more heavy rainfall. So, um, and we also know from other studies that have looked at, uh, at a larger area covering the whole of the Arabian Peninsula, that with a warmer climate, you do see more heavy rainfall. So we have different lines of evidence that all combined say that we have no other explanation for this 10 to 40 percent increase in rainfall that we observe than human induced climate change. It was event, an event that was very well forecast days in advance. Um, it was a big, uh, a big event of several thunderstorms over a large, large area forming. And um, this has this heavy rainfall in Dubai and Oman, but also actually the whole uh, low pressure event also led to a heavy rainfall in, in other parts of, of Asia. And cloud seeding, if it has an effect at all, the effect is instantaneous, so you won't be able to, to forecast it at all. So, so all these things show that cloud ceiling really has cannot possibly have anything to do with it. <laughs>